Hi there guys, today I'd like to show you how you can build the simplest possible electric trap in Rust. So the idea is that you build a base which looks like a starter base, ideally somewhere close to a monument where a lot of people used to come, and you leave the door open which looks like a newbie player would be building the base and they are just gone farming somewhere and they forgot to close the door behind them. So someone might be thinking, okay, the door is open, nobody is around, Let's check what's inside. Okay, there is a box. No shotgun traps. No one seems to be inside. Let's see what's in the box. And whoops, the door is closed. They suddenly figure out there's an HBHF sensor. They can destroy the sensor, they can destroy the door controller, but they won't be able to get out of this room unless they have explosives. Which means they will either starve to death or they will have to kill themselves. And in both cases, they will leave the loot here for your collection. So what you need is a power source, a sensor, a memory cell, a branch, a door controller and if you want to make the reset of the trap more convenient you would use an additional electric branch and a switch. As a power source you can use a wind turbine, on modded servers you can use a generator or you can use a solar panel which is probably the least obvious energy source on such a small building. As a sensor you can also use a pressure pad or a laser sensor but the HBHF sensor is my favorite because it's probably the least noticeable one. Okay, to get this working, wire the power source into the branch, branch into the memory cell, memory cell inverted output pin into the door controller, then branch some power out into the sensor, the sensor power output into the set pin of the memory cell. Then pair the door controller with the door, remember that the door needs to be unlocked and closed to be able to pair it, and use the hammer to set up your HBHF sensor properly. My HBHF sensor is set to send strangers, which means as soon as I deauthorize myself with the tool cupboard, the sensor will sense me and the door will close. In order to reset the trap, use the branch out pane of the branch and plug it into the reset pane of the memory cell. As soon as the door opens, you can again plug the branch out pane into the sensor. Okay guys, this is the simplest possible electric trap I was able to think of. If you can think of anything even simpler, I will be happy if you can tell me about it in the comments. Please give me thumbs up, subscribe and keep watching for more tips about this particular trap design. Great guys, thank you for making it this far. I'd like to tell you some additional little details about this kind of trap. So the first thing is explaining the memory cell. The memory cell is a very useful electric component which you can use to keep your system in a state. You might be thinking, why not just plug the HBHF sensor directly into the door controller with a blocker on the way to invert the output and control the door directly? Well, if the system wouldn't be kept in a state once the sensor senses someone, a guy would just walk inside of the sensor, the door would close, but as soon as the guy would walk behind a corner and the sensor would stop sensing him, the door would open again. This could very easily happen with my design because I'm putting the player sensor behind the second door. If I put it behind the first door, it might happen that the guy would be like standing in middle of the door checking what's inside and the sensor would already sense him, close the door and the guy would be kicked out by the door instead of staying in. If I put the player sensor behind the second door, the guy is already deep inside the base and the first door closed and there's no chance the guy would be kicked out. But if there was no memory cell here, the guy could simply walk out of the side of the sensor and the door, the first door would open again and he would be free to go. Second thing is that when building the base you need to close the door and unlock it to be able to pair the door controller. But as soon as you pair the door controller make sure you again lock the door otherwise the trapped guy will be just able to open the door and walk away. Make sure to upgrade the base to stone and sheet metal door as soon as possible. You can use wooden door for starters but people usually come packed with ammo and it, it would be quite easy for them to just shoot the door and get away. So sheet metal door is a good compromise in cost and efficiency. As far as I know you can only break the sheet metal door with explosives or explosive ammo and people don't come packed with explosives un unless they are ready to raid. If you are using a solar panel as a power source, build the base on a hill so it is hard to see for people from the ground. Place the solar panel in the middle of the roof and make sure the solar panel is oriented to north for best efficiency. As I said in the beginning, you can use an additional branch and a switch to be able to reset the trap more easily. What you do is cancel the connection from the power source, put it in the first branch, 
then continue the power into the other branch as before. Uh, and then you use the branch out pane and plug it into the actual switch. And from the actual switch you can use the reset pane of the memory cell to reset the trap, which is here. So every time the trap gets triggered, you can just turn on the switch and turn it off to reset the trap. I have to authorize myself because it gets triggered immediately again. Okay, now it's reset. Let's see the actual wiring inside the base as well. It's a simple 2x1 base. Here's the control room, it has to be locked and closed. Here's the TC. The power comes in from the solar panel this way, into the, uh, I mean this way, into the branches, into the uh, reset switch, here's the memory cell. Then the player sensor is here, the power comes in and out using these wires. And then another wire from, from, the, from the memory cell is going into a door controller which is hidden here behind the door. Okay guys, that's it, my simple electric trap base idea. Any of your ideas, suggestions or um, questions are welcome in the comments. Please give me thumbs up, subscribe for more tips and I would also like to invite you to join my Facebook group. It's called Rust Global Gaming Community. It's probably the biggest Facebook group about Rust on Facebook. I will leave a link in the description. I will see you there and I will be hosting a QA. So make sure to join, I will see you there and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!